guys, Anthony here. In today's video, we're gonna look at a closer look at the Lifesaver Liberty water filter. And what we're gonna do is just go over some of the nomenclature on this so you guys can familiarize yourselves with the various parts are. And so let's do that first and then we'll look at uh, priming it and getting it ready for use. So this is the Liberty filter in front of me. Uh, this is the uh, little bag that it comes with to hold the little hose that you attach or you would attach to it and suck water out of a, a lake, a stream, a pond, a puddle, or uh, whatever, a water source and pump it into uh, the filter or into something else, okay? So that's that piece there. Um, so these are, I'm going off the directions here and I think you could give a like to give you guys a clear picture of that so you could pause it and take a look for yourselves on what it is and we'll go over them quickly and they're lettered from A to H A being the drinking spout which is here I'll just point them off real quick and give you a little close up it's a rubberized area here surrounding the spout Okay, that's A. B is the watertight screw lid. That's this top piece here. And again, the piece that has the carabiner attachment, which is right here. Again, it fits over A and tightens down, just like that. It's got a little plastic or rubber, excuse me, rubber piece here so you cannot lose it and it stays on board. C, carabiner clip, we just went over that, that's on the a lid here. Uh, D is the window, okay? The window looks at the actual filter. And there you can see the filter that's inside the unit. And I believe the available space in there is about 14 ounces of water that'll fit inside there. Water flow valve is E. Again, if you had this bottle filled with water, okay, the internal compartment filled with water, you would turn this valve to the upward position to enable the flow rate to come out. And then to the side there is off. Okay, so that's E, the flow water flow valve. F, the removable base. Okay, F is the removable base, and here, part of the base is actually two parts. Uh, the pump, which we're going to look at, which comes right here, comes off with a turn and then turns back into place. And then the actual base of the unit that screws off. So that's the base. There's your pumping area, your pumping unit. And you can see that. And then your filter is inside. Okay, next, the scavenger hose spigot. That's built into the base here. I'll put the base back on and show you uh, what that looks like. And that is right here. That's where your hose would go in and then you would pump. Water would come up through that scavenger hose into the unit and then be filtered out and be ready to drink or pour into something else. Okay. And then the twist lock pump handle is H, which is right here. It just, again, twist locks. I notice inside the pump head is the uh, serial number. See if I can get you a shot of that. The Liberty, there's the serial number. Gives you the lifesaver name, and there's a little barcode in, it, in there that's inside that piece there. Okay. The next step in the directions would be again, these are in, these come in a, uh, three languages. So the next step is priming, and that's our section that we're gonna look at right here. And that's what we're gonna spend the most time on. And so we're gonna go by the sink 
and we are going to uh, get this primed. Let's reset by the sink. All right, guys, so we're going to go, we're going to follow the directions to the letter, okay, and we're going to take the unit. I've got the directions here. I'm going to read them and do the work. Number one, remove the base F and fill with clean water. So the base is here, that's F. So I'm gonna remove the base and fill the unit with clean water. Let's put the top on there. All these steps must be performed before you use this bottle for filtering. So we're gonna fill this up with clean water and leave it for five minutes. Okay, screw the base back on, and we're going to leave this for five minutes, I'll get my phone out and time five minutes, and then we will come back. All right, guys. We are coming to the end of our five minutes. There you can see it, I have it timed. And now we're going to do the next uh, section, which tells us to, it's number three on the priming menu, remove the base F and discard the water. Fill with clean water, replace base F and pump three times. Okay, so we're gonna remove the base F and discard the water we've had in there for the last five minutes. Okay, that's done. We're going to refill it. Tighten it down. Pump three times. One, two, three. Open the lid and turn water flow valve to release water from the drinking spout. So we're going to open the lid. The lid is open. And now we go, we're going to turn the water flow valve to release water from the drinking spout. Water will have a slow flow rate initially. Hope you can see that. Pump to sustain flow rate until bottle is empty. So I'm pumping the um, Liberty filter to purge the water through. And then it says, when it's done, we're gonna repeat that over again. It's not hard to pump at all. Okay, I think we're empty. Now I'm going to shut the flow rate valve. I'm going to Secure the pump, fill up the unit one more time. A little pressure was built up in there. Remove the pump assembly, refill. Tighten it down. Remove the lid, open the water flow valve, oh, excuse me, pump three times first, one, two, three, open the flow valve, and there you see it coming out a lot stronger, 
and then I'm going to pump. So as you do this process, the flow rate gets a lot better. As you can see it coming out. And I think I'm empty here. Yes, I am. So I'm going to shut the valve, replace the lid. And that's it. So now it says um, repeat steps four, five, and six, which we did. Your Lifesaver Liberty bottle is now ready to use. So we're going to go to the next step here because I think it's very important uh, that we know this, that you guys know this if you buy this unit, that <clears throat> um, how to use the bottle mode. Let's go over this. Ensure the lid B is fully closed and avoid contaminating drinking spout. Remove the base F and scoop or pour water in. So it's telling us how to fill it with uh, dirty water or contaminated water. So you want to either scoop water with it or pour it into it using another vessel. I would probably opt to pour water into it using another vessel if I had one. Um, and a, you want to bring it to um, a half inch from the brim or one centimeter. Replace the base, open the lid, pump two or three times, turn the water flow valve on, to the open position, start the flow of clean water, pump gently to sustain the flow rate. So you're going to do essentially what we did in the um, in the uh, purge mode. Okay. Another important thing, and there's some cautions here that I want to show you guys with this system, is that the um, the Liberty bottle should never require more than five pumps to work effectively. If you need to pump more to induce water flow. Always do so with the water flow valve turned to the open gauge whether further pumping is required. Okay. Do not keep pumping if water is not flowing from the bottle. This will overpressurize the bottle, which will result in a stressed bottle. To release pressure from the bottle, unscrew the pump base slowly by a quarter turn until you hear a hissing sound. Once you've primed your Lifesaver Liberty bottle, which we did, we just primed it, it says, you must always keep the membranes of the filter hydrated by storing at least a half inch of water or one centimeter of, centimeter of water in the bottle at all times while keeping the bottle sealed with the pump tightened and the water flow valve in the closed position. Failure to do so will cause the membranes to dry out and the system to shut down. This is not covered under your warranty and will, you will need to purchase a replacement filter. Do not operate the pump while the Lifesaver Liberty bottle is empty. So what we're going to do now that we have this bottle primed is I'm going to fill it with a half of inch of water, keep that water in this bottle, and then this bottle will go in a pack in my van wherever I go, and it'll be, always be ready uh, for use. Okay, And I believe it's the same priming process with the larger um, jerry can which we're going to do another video on and I'm going to prime that as well and get that filter ready uh, for action okay so in today's video we looked at the uh, Lifesaver Liberty bottle we we haven't looked at the uh, hose attachment yet we could actually fill my sink up here and maybe do a test of it to see how it works maybe we'll do that in another video it comes with a little pack here to store this in and um, it's labeled with Lifesaver uh, logo on it. So there you have it, guys. That's the uh, purging or the priming of this bottle to get it ready. So let's fill it up a half inch of water. And 
Let's, let's see that. You can't see it in the video, but this orange, this orange lid that says Liberty is kind of translucent. And I could see my bottle is filled right to there. So I'm going to put just a tad bit more water in there just to make sure this, this pump stays wet. There it is. My flow valve is off. My lid is on tight. Everything is secure and it's ready to go. Okay, guys, questions, comments, those of you that have a bottle, if you want to uh, chime in, please do comment in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Uh, more videos to come on this bottle. Take care and stay ready.